Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, we've got a good one for you today. We're going to get into the Aaron McKenna, Linus Udafia fight. I hope I'm saying that right. His name, uh, Udafia? Udafia. Udofia? We're going to get into it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. We don't gamble here, but if you do... Um, we use DraftKings Canada, we use DraftKings in Texas. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. The, the odds makers, the boxing bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Uh, follow me. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please smash the like button. Subscribe. Um, and uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Get a little under the weather here. All right, let's get into today's fight. Aaron McKenna, 6'1", middleweight. He's tall and long. He fights straight up and down. Uh, tall, long fighter. I like McKenna. There's something to this kid. There's something there. Um, he is 17-0. He's got just eight knockouts. His power is not great, but it's not non-existent either. Really good right hand. Uh, he likes to fight at range. You know, I, ideally, I think he's fighting at range and he's setting up that right hand. Uh, Udafia also likes to fight at range. And he's pretty good at it, too. So, like, at, at long range, this is going to be a decent match. Like, it's going to be a decent match. It's going to be a decent chest at long range. I just think McKenna is better. He's, he's more accurate with his right hand. He places it better. He times it better. He's more aggressive. He can lead to the body. He throws a lead left hook to the body, which is which is really good. He's a little slow, so that's going to be the advantage that Fia has, I think, in, in, in speed. But he's a little sloppier. He can be hit a little more. Uh, McKenna is pretty fundamentally sound. He can be he can be drawn into a fight, and he's pretty good on the inside too. He's got really good skills on the inside. Like I said, he's not a huge hitter, but he's got skills. He mixes up head and body really well. He likes to march forward, and he likes to you know make make you back up. I, I don't know if Udafi is going to do that, so this fight might take place on the inside more than we're expecting because both guys are pretty good from the outside. But one guy likes to come forward. Now, if Udafia doesn't give ground, if he's going to stand there and trade, this, this, this could happen in the center of the ring. Now the guy is a massive hitter. And like I said, if it's on the outside, I think McKenna's a better boxer. On the inside, I think McKenna's more skilled. McKenna's got really good footwork, right? For a guy who's kind of slow, he turns, he pivots, he makes you miss, right? He's out of the way. He's out of the way so you can't counter. He's got he's got a really just from the outside, he's got a really crisp one, two. Like just straight. Um, jab straight. It's crisp. It's clean. It lands. It's not the most powerful shot in the world, but it lands clean. And he's gonna score and he's gonna win rounds with this. Because it, it 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 looks good. Good feet. Just you know, I, I don't know McKenna's amateur background. But I'm guessing it's pretty extensive and pretty good because you can see he's he's fundamentally sound. He does a lot of things well. He's an, he's got excellent skills. He's an excellent craftsman. He's just not a hitter, and he's not super fast. He, he's kind of slow. Again, you know that that typical style. He's straight up jabbing. He jabs well. He uses his jab. He's got decent volume. He mixes up his shots really well. I really like the way when he digs to the body. I, I really like him when he goes to the body. You defeat good boxer. He's strong. Like he's just, he comes forward and he's strong. Like he's not the biggest hitter, but what he is is he's like a force. He's got no head movement, which is why I kind of like McKenna from long range and getting inside is tough for him because he doesn't move his head. He's off balance a lot. Like his footwork is kind of garbage. Like you, you can see this, and I think he's got a questionable chin and he got a questionable gas tank. Uh, you know, his face swole up. And he got stopped um, with Kieran Conway. 
Then in the Denzel Bentley fight, he was doing great early on. It seemed to really, really fade. He got dropped. They didn't count it as a knockdown for reasons unknown, but his knee definitely hit the canvas. And he just seems to fade. His punch output drops. He starts to show up more. It seems like he's, he goes into survival mode late in fights. There might be a chin issue and there might be an endurance issue with this guy. So I, I don't really see any path to victory for him. He fades late, so McKenna's going to win the late rounds. He's, McKenna's better on the inside, and he's better from long range. I, I don't think uh, Udafia stinks or he's lousy. He's not Jermaine Brown. He's a good fighter. I just like I, I think there's something special here to McKenna. I'm not saying McKenna's going to be a world champion. I'm not right at this level. McKenna's really good. And I think that this is a good fight. I think this is the best opponent he's ever fought. I think it's a good test for him. But I think he passes it and passes it with flying colors. I, I wasn't surprised he was a favorite. So the odds, well, let's get to the odds now. I'm going to pull up the odds now. I'm sure you There's not a ton on this fight. There's not, uh, we don't have the, what happened to it? I hate it when they do this to me. Get rid of this. That was yesterday's show. I feel pretty comfortable making a one and a half times bet on this. I'm pretty confident in McKenna. The odds are decent. It's minus 155, so a one and a half times bet. So $150 in this case is going to make you about $100. 96 And I think, you know, I would take the, the over. But we don't have that on this. I, I wish we did. McKenna's a good boxer. He's got good skills. And I think at this level, he's just too much. He's he's too diverse of a fighter. He's he's too good. He's got too many gears. Again, and it's 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 simple too. He's he keeps it simple. He's fundamentally sound. He's not easy to hit, even though he's slow, and he, he is slow, and I, I, I think that may catch up to him at the highest level, but this is not quite the highest level yet, not to disrespect Linus Udafia. McKenna's the classier fighter. McKenna, McKenna should carry the day here. And that's at any range. He's just a little bit better. He's a little bit more polished. It's good. Uh, the, the future is bright for this guy. I'd like to see where he finishes up in, in the middleweight division. Like I said, good good height, good reach, really good skills, diverse. He mixes up his punches. Good body puncher. It's a lot to like about McKenna. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this fight. I'm looking forward to seeing him. And then I think moving on to bigger and better things in, in the relative, you know, relatively near future. So I'm taking – if you can get a book with over-under – I would take the over. I think it goes the distance. You know, McKenna's not a hitter. I don't think he's going to really look to push to get him out. I think, you know, it's a big fight for him. He's going to stay composed, and he's just going to put rounds in the bank and, and carry a competitive but clear decision. You know, I, I don't know how many rounds he is going to win, even though he's going to be competitive in the fight. McKenna is a difficult guy to win rounds with, right? Your best bet is to knock him out if you can get in and make it ugly. But again, he's good on the inside. Really good, really good footwork, really good angles. He angles out, he pivots out. It's not easy to catch him. But I think that would be your, your avenue is to just kind of blind him with punches, keep punches coming, try to disguise punches um, and, and catch him on the inside. But he's good there too. You know, this is only weakness. Or he's not the most naturally gifted guy. Right? I don't mean to make this sound like Jeffers because I think he's better than Jeffers. I think he's a much classier prospect than Jeffers. I think he does way more good than Jeffers, even though Jeffers I thought was pretty fundamentally sound too if you listen to the other video. There's something to Aaron McKenna, and I'm interested to see how far he can go. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Shows you how to bring down the house and consistently make money on the sport of boxing. It is January 13th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.